Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is t to the power of 2 minus t to the power of 3. This is equal to 80. So what is the value of t? Now let's provide a solution from here. We have t squared minus t to the power of 3. This is equal to 80. So the first step is to take 80 on the right hand side so that we have t squared minus t to the power of 3, subtract 80, this is equal to 0. Now we have t squared minus t to the power of 3, subtract 80, which we can express as minus 64, subtract 16, this is equal to 0. So we have t squared minus t to the power of 3, minus 64, we can express 64 as 4 to the power of 3, minus 16, which is 4 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. So this means we have t to the power of 2, we have 4 to the power of 2 here, so subtract 4 to the power of 2, then subtract t to the power of 3, then subtract 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Now we have got two parts here, the first part is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a squared, minus b squared. The second part here, this is the difference. In this case, we can express t as t to the power of 2, minus 4 to the power of 2, minus, we can express this as t to the power of 3, plus 4 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. So this means that this is the difference of two perfect squares, a squared minus b squared. And this is actually the sum of two cubes that we can express as a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. So this implies that a squared minus b squared, this can be expressed as a plus b multiplying by a minus b. So this means that t to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2, this can be expressed as t plus 4 multiplying by t minus 4. So let's call this equation 1. Then we have the sum of two cubes here expressed as a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a plus b. Into the parentheses, this is a squared minus a times b, then plus b squared. So this implies that t to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3, this can be expressed as t plus 4. Then here we have t squared minus 4t, then plus 4 squared, which is equal to 16. Let's call this equation 2. Now let's combine equation 1 and 2. So let's combine equation 1 and 2 so that we have t plus 4 multiplied by t minus 4. Now, we have that this is minus t plus 4. Then here we have t squared minus 4t plus 16. This is equal to 0. Now we have that t minus, that is t plus 4 is common here. So we can factor out t plus 4. Into the parentheses, here we have t subtract 4, then subtract, here we have t squared minus 40 plus 16, cross the parentheses here, this is equal to 0. So we have t plus 4, then here we have t subtract 4, let's open the parentheses here, we have minus t to the power of 2, minus times minus 40, this is plus 4t, minus times plus 16, this is minus 16, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So we have t plus 4, then here we have, now we can write this equation here, we have minus t squared, then we have plus 4t, we have plus t, then minus 4, we have here minus 4, minus 16, this is equal to 0. 
So this means we have t plus 4. Then here we have minus t squared. 4t plus t, this is plus 5t. Minus 4 minus 16, this is minus 20. This is equal to 0. So here we have two parts. We have t plus 4. This is equal to 0. And here we have minus t to the power of 2 plus 5t minus 20. This is equal to 0. So let's divide both signs by minus 1. So that now from the first part here, we have that t1 is equal to minus 4. Now in the second part here, let's divide everything by minus 1. Minus t squared divided by minus 1. This is t squared plus 5t divided by minus 1. This is minus 5t. Minus 20 divided by minus 1. This is plus 20. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation here of the form at squared plus bt plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 5, and c is equal to 20. So this means we can solve t2, comma t3 by applying a quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus. We have the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here divided by 2 times a. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that now here we have minus minus 5 plus or minus. We have the square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 20. Everything here divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Now we have minus times minus 5, this is equal to 5, plus or minus, we have the square root of minus 5 squared, this is 25, minus 4 times 20, this is minus 80, everything here, divided by 2. Now here we have 5 plus or minus, we have the square root of, now we have 25 minus 80, this is minus 55, Everything here divided by 2. So here we have 5 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 55. This is the same thing as 55 multiplied by minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. So here we have 5 plus or minus. We can express this as the square root of 55. Then we have the square root of minus 1. This is i. Everything here divided by 2. So this implies that here we have two complex solutions. Here we have two complex solutions. Which implies that we have t2. This is equal to 5 plus square root of 55 i. Everything here divided by 2. And then we have t3. This is equal to 5 minus square root of 55 i everything here divided by 2 so we have only one real solution here which is t1 t1 is equal to minus 4 this is the only real solution for this algebra problem the next step is to verify so let's verify that this real solution satisfies the equation now if you recall we have that t to the power of 2 subtract t to the power of 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 80. let's substitute t1 which is minus 4 we have minus 4 raised to the power of 2 subtract minus 4 raised to the power of 3 this should give us a value of 80. minus 4 squared this is equal to 16 minus here we have minus 4 to the power of 3 this is minus 64. This is supposed to give us a value of 80. So we have 16 minus times minus 64. This is plus 64. This should give us a value of 80. 
So we have 16 plus 64, this is equal to 80, which is equal to 80. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that T1, which is minus 4, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.